Hello beautiful people, my name is Bridget and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a foundation review. Today I'm testing out the Makeup by Mario new liquid foundation that just came out and I'm excited to see how this goes. So this is Makeup by Mario who is a professional makeup artist. He's done Kim Kardashian, he's done a tons of people's faces that you've seen before and he has his own makeup line. Now to be honest I forgot about this line for a little bit but your girl loves foundation, so when this dropped, I asked you guys, would you rather see a review of this foundation or the new Juvia's Face, Juvia's Face, Juvia's Place one? And you guys chose this one by a margin. The Juvia's Place still had a lot of votes, but as far as the shade range goes, I feel like this is the one that probably would have worked better for me. So we splurged and I got this here to review for you today. Now let me read you a little bit about the foundation before we get started with the test, uh, the try on, the first impressions, the long wear test, all that good jazz. This is $42, like I said, it is available at Sephora. I didn't know this brand was available at Sephora, but it's good to know. It says it is a natural finish, liquid formula, long wearing, hydrating, and medium coverage. Medium coverage is my go-to normal thing. And this is supposed to be very dewy on the skin, the natural, dewy finish but medium coverage so it has all the good things you want to hear it says it is a breathable luminous foundation that it effortlessly builds and blends to illuminate the complexion with customizable long wearing coverage it includes ingredients such as grapeseed oil vegetal squalene and provides restoring moisturizing benefits so it is a dewy foundation with medium coverage basically it says all the good things you want to hear but that's the gist of it dewy medium coverage foundation so as far as the shade range goes for this i do think the fair and the deep sides could be undertone fixed a little bit i have the shade 1c which is the lightest shade but i do think this is the only shade that wasn't very yellow and then when you look at the deeper shades of the shade range they all look very warm which i don't feel like fits everyone but as far as the shade range goes for being a smaller brand even though it was in sephora so if it's in sephora it's not the smallest brand i think it's a decent shade range and uh, yeah, so let's get started with this try on portion. Before we do get into it though, I do wanna give a quick shout out to my small business, theopencrypt.com. It's my one woman owned small business. I've released so many new products recently, including these earrings and my Akasha lashes, which I love these lashes because they have like that good, whooshy, fluffy flare up. We also have new banners, new bags, all kinds of things and earrings, accessories coasters these dolly parton and elvira magnets for your, your dishwasher i've had this in my like to-do list forever of products to create and like i love it so if your dishes are dirty you can put elvira on top and then you can spin it as a dolly when they're clean because we all know dolly parton and elvira are basically like the same like the same soul just one happens to be goth and one happens to be country so yeah that's the most i'm like really proud of that product they're only 225 for that magnet by the way i try to make everything affordable the lashes are only 7.99 um, all that. So if you want to check my small business, I'd appreciate it. Sorry for the long spiel about it. I just want to talk about the magnet. <laughs> and yeah, let's go ahead and get started trying on this product now. All right, so let's get started testing out the foundation. Firstly, I am missing a fingernail. Okay, your girl has another cuticle infection, so I'm just letting it heal. So don't judge me for that. We're wearing a Snuggie. A Snuggie is comfortable. <laughs> and it's also so cold outside. So before we get started, I do want to prime my face. Let's do the Ofra Cool as a Cucumber. My skin is pretty dry, which is why I'm like really excited about a dewy, natural finish uh, foundation today. It says it's medium coverage and buildable, which I am excited about. Now I did Sephora same day deliver this. I don't live like very close to Sephora at all. I probably live 30 minutes from one. So I was actually really surprised that I still was eligible for the same day delivery. I don't usually shop from Ulta, so I guess I wasn't just familiar that they, did they just do that? Like, I didn't really know. I think I may have same day delivered one other thing before, but I lived way closer to an Ulta. So that's interesting to know. And it didn't, I, when I tracked my order, like mid through the day, because it said it could be delivered any time during the day, it let me track it and it tracked it through DoorDash. But I wasn't given the option to leave a tip. So I don't know if that $7 that I paid for same day delivery went to the driver or not. All right, so here is the bottle. It comes with a little white cap on it. It's a really sleek, very high end feeling bottle. Like it has some weight to it. It feels fancy. I am in the shade 1C because it's the only one that I saw that didn't look super, super yellowy. Um, so this is the shade I went with. This is the lightest one they have, which I don't think I necessarily needed because it does look pretty light. But I could always bronze it up and I'd rather not it I'd rather it not have like a weird undertone to it. So let's just go ahead and get it going. 
And I'm gonna go one, two pumps here. I figure two pumps for a good medium coverage for a dewy finish is about right. Let me zoom you in a, a little bit uncomfortably so we can really tell how this looks. We're gonna do a little bit of a long wear test. The color looks okay, honestly. And let's just blend it out. I don't think I needed the two pumps. It feels like a lot. It's blending out very nicely though. My skin is very dry and it's not having an issue at all. So far, that looks really nice. Do you see the dewiness on my cheekbone right there? You see that right there? That looks nice. So far, so good. If you have a dangling septum, do you have to lift it up before you do your foundation on your nose? Because I can do that all the time. Okay, I have to say, I feel like I didn't need the full two pumps. I feel like this is kind of a lot. But for being a natural finish, it's really covering my redness up. And it looks like still subtle on the skin. Like it doesn't look heavy, which I was kind of worried about. Because sometimes dewy finish is like too much dew. Or it looks weird. This right now is really, it's giving me a decent amount of coverage, right? Like it gives me decent coverage. But what it's really doing is it's evening out my redness. So thank you foundation so far. Right now this is giving me a better version of the Anastasia foundation, like the Anastasia Luminous Foundation. I really like it, right? I think the packaging on it's really nice and it's really a beautiful, it's a beautiful dewy finish kind of like this is. However, this has better coverage. And I think that Anastasia foundation is $38 and this is 42. So really for $4 more, this looks really beautiful. I just, look at the dewness on my like cheekbone. It's beautiful, it is medium coverage, but it looks natural on my skin like without setting powder or anything. Like you can still see my skin through it. Like you can still see my freckles right here. You can still see my dark circles of course. I don't think I blended it very well on the side of my nose. But my skin doesn't look heavy. It doesn't look crazy. You can still see my skin skin to it. But it looks so even and smooth without being heavy. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> so far, Mario, I'm sorry I forgot your brand existed when I saw this announced. I'm sorry. I've never tried your brand before either. But this is truly beautiful so far we're gonna have to do a long wear test and see how it looks with concealer powder contour everything on top of it all because really when it's all said and done is when it's gonna look the most true you know so i'm gonna take the kvd good apple concealer and do a little bit of concealer just under my under eyes and a little spot on my scar nowhere else on my face everywhere else on my face Whereas I normally would touch up uh, my foundation with more concealer, I really want the most of my face to just be the concealer today. Or not the concealer, mostly my face to be just the foundation today so we can really get a good test of it. For setting powder now, I'm going to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills setting powder in the shade Vanilla. I don't know why I tried to show you the bottom like you could see that, but I'm going to set everywhere, including my under eyes, with this setting powder. And then we'll see how the foundation looks. Because sometimes if you add some powder, which I always set with powder because I don't like to touch my face all through the day. Sometimes with powder, it can start to look a little bit much. So we'll see how it interacts. I'm only using the sponge under my under eyes. And then I will use just a light fluffy brush to set the rest of my face. All right, zooming you in really close again. Here's my skin. Obviously, my under eyes don't look the best today, but that's okay. I'm just tired. My skin, you can still see. Like, you can still see some redness, some imperfections, um, everything. It doesn't look too heavy. Now, obviously, when I set it with setting powder, it's going to settle down a lot of the powder on top. So, I feel like it's going to look even, sorry, even better. So, let's just finish the rest of, like, my complexion. So, for contour, I'm going to use the One Size Beauty in Fair. I'm going to use the center shade here on my little F83 contour brush. My Sigma brush set is still available with this brush in it, by the way. I never mention it anymore since it's been a really long time since it came out, but it is still available. Put a little bit on the sides of my nose, just right here. And then here. Love a contour. For blush, I have a bunch of my depotted Ofra ones. I'm going to use this 
pink bliss Rillo dewy one along with a little bit of this regular pink one that I don't know the name of. I think it's pink satin if I labeled it correctly. I'm going to add this into the contour just on top of it and a little bit under my chin, a little bit on the tip of my nose, but not enough to get that like cold girl effect. You know, like it used to be like a cutesy thing if you were like an e-girl and you had like pink on the tip of your nose. I don't know. It was never really my thing. For highlighter, I'm going to use this Big Sigma highlighter brush F35, and I'm going to use the Star Inspired, which is Glaze Donut and Pillow Talk as my highlighter from Ofra. And, oh, 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 beautiful highlighter. All right, now that my complexion is done, let's set my face with some setting spray that's really going to settle down the powder on top and show us what the foundation finish is going to look like with everything set. So this is the Fenty What It Do Makeup Refreshing Mist. It's very fine. Okay, so here is my skin. It looks beautiful. Besides my little dark circle right there, it looks beautiful. Obviously, the highlighter looks really smooth on top of this foundation. Like, even my forehead... Like it looks good. Like you can still see my skin texture. You can still see some imperfections, especially like down on the bottom of my cheeks, but everything is really evened out. It's a beautiful medium coverage finish. I, I, I think it could have gone a little bit lighter coverage if I hadn't used two pumps of it. But that's typically how much of foundation I use. I just don't even think I needed that much. I feel like this foundation I can make last a lot longer by using one pump and still getting some really good evenness on my skin tone. Uh, my foundation looks freaking beautiful right now so i'm gonna finish up my rest of my face and then i'll come back and check in and then we're gonna do a long wear test but right now like i do think it shows a lot of my my texture like i don't think it's blurring in any aspect but it looks natural like it looks nice okay it's been about two hours my lipstick's starting to get dry here's my skin up close and natural lighting i just wanted to show you like a more close up it looks really good, right? Like, this looks really good, even though you're really close to my face. And I've been just regular doing stuff around the house. Like, my skin looks like look looks dewy. Other than my like, highlighter, it looks dewy. But not, like, oily or wet. And also, the coverage is really good. Like, my skin looks are nice and even. Okay, it's been four hours. I went outside and did all that yard work I needed to do. And I felt very glamorous with all this makeup on doing it. Um, but... My face still looks good. I do see a little bit of like maybe breaking up a little bit on my chin right here where I have a blemish. I don't think it really held on to that very well. I could have used concealer on top of it, of course, but I didn't want to mess with the foundation review. It looks pretty good, right? My hair's a mess, but it's looking pretty good. Like it's also cold today, but it's not like freezing, freezing cold. So my skin is not the absolute worst. Um, yeah, so far so good. Okay, we are back in the Snuggie. It's only been about five and a half hours since I applied it, but I feel like that's a long enough wear test where like that's about as long as I'm leaving the house typically. Um, so let me tell you my observations. Okay, Akasha was going to cry if I didn't pick her up. So it's a dewy finish, right? But I set the powder to make it last as long as it can. I will say the longer I wear it, the more texture I see on my face. Like, I mean, the sliding is pretty flattering, kind of. Um, I just, I see all the texture and everywhere my face is dry and every little bit of texture I have and over just a little bit of acne I had on my, my, uh, chin here, it did kind of fade off of that, but it's not bad. Again, I could use concealer. Um, so at first it looks really, really beautiful and I still think it looks nice, especially for like what I've put it through today. I still think it looks really nice and it really evens out my skin tone, which is, it's nice, right? But I do, the longer I wear it, see more texture on my skin. I don't know if that's because it's dewy or because it's just kind of settled in more onto my skin instead of just like freshly applied. Um, but I do feel like my, especially my forehead area looks textured, but overall I'm not mad at it because I've been wearing it for quite a long time and I don't look red, which is nice. I will say this is very similar. It's like slightly dewier than my regular, um, I would say like the Ooma foundation, Ooma Say What uh, foundation, I would say it's very similar to that. And it's like a more better coverage 
slightly better, long-lasting version of the Anastasia Luminous Foundation. I like to compare things. Um, one similar in price and then a more affordable option for you because the one will usually on sale. So yeah, overall I will continue to wear it. I do like it. I like it a lot, especially like when it's first applied. But I don't think it's the most like, oh my god, long lasting thing in the world, especially if you don't set it with powder. Like if you don't set it with powder, I don't think it's gonna wear that well, but because I did, I think it looks okay. So thank you guys so much for joining me for today's video. Say hello to Akasha. <gasps> Akasha, I know. She has to get her medicine, but I will see you guys later. Have a lovely day. Okay, bye.